I will now show you how to create a simple calculator app. Let's begin creating a calculator app in Android Studio. Once the Android Studio is launched, you can see this window, which is divided into two parts. The left part displays all the recent projects. On the right side, you can see an option which states, Start a new Android Studio project. Click on it. A new window will appear. Here, you can give your application name. By default, it is My Application. Here, there is also a company domain field which is connected to your package name. I will change the project name to Calculator and then click on Next. It will lead us to another window where you will have to select minimum SDK version. By default, it is an API level 15, that is ice cream sandwich, which is good to go. Proceed by clicking Next. Here, you have to choose activity from another window. Choose blank activity and click Next. Now, you have to give layout and Java class name. By default, the Java class name is main activity and XML will be activity underscore main dot XML. Keep it as it is and then click Finish. It will take few minutes to set the Gradle to build as per the project API level. Finally, your project setup is complete. Now, please pay attention as I'll create the UI design for the calculator. In this design, I'll create buttons from 0 to 9 and one clear button, basic operations like plus, minus, multiplication, subtraction, division and one text view to display the result. To create the design for calculator, first I'll go to activity underscore main dot XML which is under RES package and layout and delete the floating button design. I will then go to mainactivity.java and delete the corresponding code for floating button. Select layout under RES package and double click on content underscore main dot XML file which will appear on editor. I will make this linear layout orientation vertical. Then I will create five relative layouts with the same height using layout weight is equal to one. Inside the top relative layout, I will declare a text view to display the result. It will contain width as fill parent and height as match parent. I will set the ID as result underscore ID. I will go to the next relative layout and inside it, I will declare a linear layout. I will set width as fill parent and height as match parent. Set orientation as horizontal, gravity as center and give some space from top so we will say padding top 10 dp. Inside the linear layout, I will create a button and set layout width to 0 dp and set layout height to match parent, layout weight as 1 and text size to 30 sp and text as 7 to display on button. Similarly, I'll create another three buttons and for rest of the relative layout. After completing, you can see the design on the right side panel of your XML design preview.
After completing the design, I'll go to mainactivity.java, which is under the Java package. Double-click on it. The editor appears. Now, I will declare globally a string name str, which will display the result. Now, I will declare a character name op, which will hold all the operation. Now, two more variables as float, which are num and numtemp, which will hold the number for temporary. One text view will be declared to hold the same result's name show result. Finally, I'll declare all buttons which will be used like 0 to 9 and also all the operation. Now inside onCreate operation, I'll declare all buttons like this. I will use onClick operation for each button. From 0 to 9 button, I will use insert function, which I will create in the later part of this tutorial. For operation button onClick, I will create perform function. In clear button, I'll create a function name reset. Outside of onCreate method, I'll create all the user defined function I mentioned. Start with reset. It will be a private method. In this every function, I'll set all the variable what I did at first. Next, I'll create insert function in which I will pass a parameter. Inside this function, I'll store the value in str, then I will convert to integer and store it in num and will set the result to show result text view. Next, I'll create perform function. Inside that, I'll make string as empty and will store the value of num into num temp. Finally, I'll create calculate function to perform all the operation using if else statement. This completes the app development. Now run an emulator, launch the calculator and you can use it.